that have concerns and issues that do not speak up for fear of retaliation from above is the reason why I lead and why I am gravitated to the profession and calling of education. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ronnie Beard. And for the past decade, I was a special ed para. For a short stint, I was a front office secretary greeting people as they walked in with a welcoming face. And for the most current 37 days, I was hired as a social studies teacher. It was a long eight year process to get into where I was to earn that master's degree and have the different relationships that I had with my kids in the school and on the track as I'm coaching, I coach track and field. But starting off my leadership journey, it started off with my older sister who had special needs. So it was, it was never a job. It was just everyday life on what I did every day. So it was always something different because if you're in special education, you know that it's not the same thing every day. The routine has to be the same, but whichever, whichever Steve comes in, is whichever Steve you're gonna deal with. So gravitating towards that up into, because it is a journey, I cannot be just a teacher because I had to know what came before that. It, it is part of me, so I am an educator. Yeah, that's right. I cannot be a GSP, I cannot be just a teacher. I am an educator. So when I go, I am an educator. I have to be in social studies. So my leadership journey started, I was very inquisitive. That, that's a great word. I was nosy. <laughs> I needed to know what was going on how stuff was working, I just I just needed to know. And I love money, so I like to know where it goes. I was never a treasure, but I like to know where money goes and how my dues dollars are being spent. Because if we're taking it from a paycheck, I want to know where it's going. So I became inquisitive in that notion. I first started off, I was non-benefited, so I didn't have you know, health insurance, dental insurance, and I couldn't be a part of the association. So I was just inquisitive on how can I be Hard, how can I do this? How can I be involved? So then I finally got benefits. And you know, if you don't have benefits, medical bills are very expensive, especially if you get acute bronchitis. It's very expensive. <laughs> so getting on that, I signed up, ready to go, gung ho. Somebody didn't have to convince me. I was ready to go. And then I was appointed to my local board for technology, even though I was a para. I still, I ran the website. I did the mass email distribution list and I ran the online elections that we moved up to we step paper. Now we went to electronic, just as a safeguard. So we went to So like going that way on my journey. So then I just rolled in, I did that, and then I was elected to vice president of my local at the time. So going through negotiations trying to help people, because you know you have those members or those potential members, because they're not non-members, they're going to be potential members. It may take them a long way to get there. So out of like fear of attack, they don't want to speak up. So it's fine. I don't care, it's fine. I'll, I will be the sounding board. I will be, I will hold that mantle and just help you get through to help with what your problem was, what your Answer was we were able to bring that up in negotiations. We were hopefully not able to file grievances because we always were good and we were cordial that we could talk it out. We were able to enhance our contract because in our local we are 178 classifications on the support side. So from bus drivers, food service, you name it, we got it except for health techs, nurses. So trying to enhance the contract, trying to be one of these stronger contracts, being able to help any support staff that wanted to become educators in the system because our superintendent believes in growing from within instead of going outside. Because you know you always have those green teachers that may not last two months and then they just roll out. But me being there is 10 years, I was able to, I, I knew 
what my students were. I knew how to get in and out. I knew what to do. So we were able to help the contract where I was on sabbatical leave in the fall. Sabbatical leave before was 50% of my paycheck. We negotiated. I got 800% of my pay while I was on sabbatical during that time. So it was amazing being a leader, maybe not being a leader. It's an evolutionary process. It's ever evolving. So this right here, my why, it may change. It'll evolve. It'll be enhanced because that's what we want to do as leaders. We want to enhance and empower people's voices. You don't want to let them be silent. I want to enhance them. I want to empower them. So if I step out and step away, because I need to take a break and have self-care, someone else can step in. So this is why I choose to lead. This is why I am convinced I need to lead. And this is why I feel called and compelled to lead. Thank you. Mm.